I'm gon' rock, we gon' rock, who gon' slide, we gon' slide, they my guys, they my slimes. Flip up and we ride out. I'm gon' rock, we gon' rock, who gon' slide, we gon' slide, they my guys, they my slimes. All out when we ride out. The next topic we're gonna discuss on Boxing Bros is who has the best chance of pulling off the upset? Is it Caleb Plant against Canelo Alvarez? Is it Deontay Wilder against Tyson Fury? Or is it Alexander Usyk against Anthony Joshua? And now we're going to turn this over to Worldwide G, a man who has a passport that will allow him to travel anywhere. They love G in the Ukraine. They love G in Jamaica. They love G in Russia. And, of course, they love G and Trinidad. So, uh, here we go. got my original love spot, the Philippines. <laughs> the Philippines <laughs> loves G. So, uh, worldwide G, international G, who has the best chance of getting off the other No need to be this name. Put that up there. <laughs> now, listen, I think y'all all know my answer. Well, y'all got to walk with it. The person who has the best chance of pulling off the upset is Deontay Wilder. But here's why. I got to explain. I got to explain. Plant, you my man. I just don't see how your power level is just too low for Canelo. I think Canelo's going to walk through your punches, and then he's going to go after the body. He's going to slow you down. There's nothing you're going to really be able to do. So I think Plant is, like, far from the equation. Canelo's leaving with something. Canelo's leaving with something, bro. I'm telling you. Eggplant palm. You know what I'm saying? That's what we eating on that day. Now, Usyk, you my man. I like you, Usyk. But Anthony Joshua's eating Ukrainian soup that day. Usyk, similar to Plant. Skilled. Really athletic. Boxing IQ's high. Nonetheless, the power's just not there. But he may... I give him a way stronger chance than Plant of pulling off the upset. But if I have to look at all three men, I think Wilder has the best chance because Wilder does have the power. You know what I mean? So he does have that knockout punch. And on top of that, um, you know, he does have a new trainer. And the world is looking at Wilder right now. He came up with so many excuses that all of this stuff lined up. He has to give his best performance of his life. I think it. Plant loses, it's like, hey, it's whatever, man. I'm $10 million richer. Usyk loses, it's like, hey, man, I lost to the heavyweight champion of the world. Wilder loses, man, this is going to be bad, bad. So, like, I think out of all three gentlemen, the hunger is more there for Deontay Wilder than Plant or Alexander Usyk. So that's why I'm actually going with uh, Wilder uh, having the best chance of an uh, upset. All right, Dollar Bill, who do you think has the best chance of pulling off the upset? G know nobody want to see that fight. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, G. But I'm going to go total opposite because we already know plant is plant-based food for Canelo, you know? So I'm not even going to talk about that. And I know how I feel about, uh, you know, Fury and Wilder. But shoot. You know, hey, you know what, G, though? I'm, I might can walk with you because, you know, I've been saying that there might be a fourth bite. <laughs> milk him. Milk him while you can. <laughs> but I'm going to roll with my man Usyk. And the reason why I, I said it's because I just think everybody is underestimating Usyk. He's really talented. I've always been big on Usyk. I'm not going to switch up now. And not only that, um... AJ respects Usyk. Like he said, I'm looking trim for this fight. I'm fighting the guy who is a 12-round fighter, so it would be silly for me to go in there bulky with the muscles screaming for oxygen. This is AJ talking about Usyk. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's a fight for the brain, knowing what you've got in front of you and knowing how to deal with it. He knows that this is not no easy task. He knows he's going to have to use his brain in this fight. Um, this is a, a, a fight of the brain, not of just... Muscle, because I hear everybody always talking about, oh, you know, he's going to be the bigger and the stronger guy. He also knows that Usyk has skills and ability and boxing knowledge that he's going to have to use, you know what I'm saying, uh, in this fight against AJ. And AJ knows this. He knows that, you know, he got the power, but he knows that he can set this up. 
I won't be surprised if AJ wins this fight. It'll be on points. You know, it'll be a fight like how when he fought um, Andy Ruiz the second time, you know, because this is a chess game. I don't think this is going to be uh, what you're saying, coming in there and brawling and all that. He really got to work for this one. Usyk is really a smart guy. I know people just keep bringing up this thing with the heavyweight. I I don't see it like that, man. I really see Usyk being a really talented guy who got skills and, and boxing knowledge, and AJ knows this. And I think that he's going in there not thinking that he's going to go in there underestimating Usyk. I think he's really going to come with his A game because he knows what's in front of him, like he said right there. All right, TBE. Uh, I'm going to go through the three right now. Caleb Plant is going to leave that fight eventually. <laughs> Wilder, <laughs> Wilder is going to be looking good until Fury knocks one of his earbuds out, and then it's a, it's a wrap. Like His, his mental um, focus is going to go down the drain. Usyk is going to be all nicely dancing until he gets hit with at one two from AJ and it's over. So I say none of them got a chance of pulling off an upset. I'm just gonna stand on that. It's, Who has it's the best, best chance. chance, bro? It's not that you think any of them are gonna win. Oh my god, none of them. <laughs> zero, I, can't. Zero chance for all. I, I don't. I, I don't. Why the, I don't see why they're beating Fury at all. I can't see it happening at all, especially with the head coming in. It, it you just, don't see in a heavyweight division nope. where one punch can change. No. The that you don't no. see all that happening, at least no. uh, 1% no. chance. No, no. Caleb Plant, I can't even see him keeping up with Canelo. And Usi, Usi, I give him like 10% chance if that's what you want. If he wins by points and he outscores AJ, he can just dance around AJ all fight. And AJ can't clip him. But I say once AJ clips him, he's just fooled. Like, he is, I don't want to go to G the route. But... Is Usi, then. No, but... <laughs> But if any, I I give Usyk the best chance, the the one uh, percent chance out of all of them that he could beat. Um, one percent chance to be um upset in AJ. You know what? I don't even want to ask. Go ahead. Kevin. You don't even have to ask. I stand on that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, you know the man has his opinion. <laughs> oh, so I'm telling you my caption right now. For the fight between Canelo and Caleb Plant, and if you see this anywhere, you know they stole it. The caption is going to be Canelo Plant's sweet hands in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> That's the caption uh, for for the, our reaction video to that fight. Canelo Plant's sweet hands in Vegas. But that being said, Plant, I would love for you to shock the world, not necessarily beat Canelo, but to make it competitive and to put on a show. I don't see it, but it doesn't mean that, like, I'm against it or if it happened, I would be, of course, man, I'm a fan of boxing. If you did it, you become a legend. You, there, you If you beat Canelo, you have guaranteed yourself a blockbuster movie at some point in your life. So not only 10 million, but you are going to have a movie made about you, my friend. So, um, but I just don't see it. I think Canelo... Uh, so I don't think Plant has the best chance. Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua. Um, I look at these guys as the two best fighters in the division. Um, I think that it's going to take them fighting each other, uh, basically for one of them to take, uh, well, for Joshua to take another L and for Tyson Fury to take an L. Uh, however, you're asking who has the best chance. And seeing as how Tyson Fury is fighting someone, for the third time, uh, he drawed with this guy in the first fight after coming off a two and a half year layoff and fighting this guy as his third fight in nine months. Still got a draw. Then after he uh, was active, switched to um, Sugar Ray, he ended up um Sugar Hill, excuse me, switched to Sugar Hill Stewart. Um, he ended up switching his style to be more aggressive. He comes into the rematch with Deontay Wilder and he knocks Deontay Wilder out. I think like they fought like 19 rounds um, in the first fight. What did I give Wilder? I gave Wilder the first round, the ninth round, and the 12th round. So I gave him three rounds. 
Um, and then in the rematch, I may have given Wilder the first round in the rematch too. So no, no I didn't. No, I'm didn't. trying to go off. It's been so long since I watched the fight, you know. So I so basically, I'm going to say for safety. Purposes, Wilder was done from the first round. You knew no, that. second round. I gave <laughs> Wilder the second round. Wilder landed. That's it. I gave Wilder the second round. Wilder landed a lot of right hands in that second round. That's what people don't realize. Go back and watch that second round. Wilder landed like three or four straight right like, hands. He didn't do nothing. He ate them like he didn't do nothing. He was like, hmm. I, I, I was, I was he, was he kept coming forward. He, he landed like three or four <laughs> clean right hands. So I did <laughs> give him four. So they were like 19, 19 rounds. I gave Fury 15 and the 19 rounds. So you're asking me, uh, do I think that Wilder's going to win the trilogy? No. So by default already, Usyk has the best chance because he's undefeated, a former undisputed cruiserweight champion in the world, Olympic gold medalist, intelligent fighter, all the things that Trill said, in addition to the fact that I just think the other two have an extreme uphill battle in their fights. You got to go Usyk. Even by default, although there's no default needed, I do think Usyk has a better chance than people are giving him. I think that he's a more dangerous fight than people are giving him credit for. I'm happy that AJ's taking him seriously. I saw the same article that uh, Trill said. However, there is an article where AJ saying he is going to stop Usyk. He, he doesn't know how he's going to stop Usyk, but he's saying he doesn't know if it's going to be with a jab. He doesn't know if it's going to be with an uppercut. He just knows he's going to stop him. So I'm happy to hear he's he well. And like his physical in terms of, but hopefully his mental is right as well, because that's equally important. But um, I do think he realizes that Usyk is a bigger threat than like people are mm -hmm. trying to make it seem. I think Usyk has the best chances of pulling off the upset. Here, here, I like that, man, because I, I, I seen that and I was like, AJ is taking this serious, and, and 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 he should, you know. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter, and please check out our podcast and all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros. <laughs> You're welcome.